Hi everyone, my name is Anushka and I'm seven years old. My Robot Girls major challenge is to extract energy from a spent 1.5 volt battery to light up a blue LED. The way I'm going to do this is by making a small circuit called a jewel thief and learn how it works. We all know that if we squeeze an almost empty toothpaste tube, we would somehow manage to get some toothpaste to use. Now imagine if we could do the same with spent batteries. This is a spent 1.5 volt battery connected to a blue LED which needs 3 volts to light it up. So there is no way this battery could light up this LED. But even though this seems impossible, it can actually be possible by this almost magical thing called an inductor. To make an inductor, I will wind this coated wire around this donut shaped ferrite coal. This is how the completed inductor looks like. I take the earlier circuit and swap the LED around and connect this inductor to the battery. When I connect the battery, a current flows through the coil and creates a magnetic field in the ferrite donut. When I disconnect the battery, the magnetic field collapses quickly and high voltage in the opposite direction is produced. This is sufficient to light up the LED briefly. If I keep connecting and disconnecting the battery, the LED flashes on every disconnection. This isn't useful if someone has to connect and disconnect the wires to light up the LED. So now, I'll connect a small circuit to do the switching automatically and super fast so that it appears that the LED is continuously on and isn't flashing. For this circuit, I have changed the inductor by winding two coils in the opposite direction. Voila! Lots! Now I'll show you how this magic works. The most important parts of the circuit are two coils wound in opposite directions on a donut shaped ferrite core and a NPN transistor used for fast switching. When I turn on the circuit, a current flows through the first coil, the resistor and the base emitter junction of the transistor. The transistor starts to conduct, causing a current to start flowing through the second coil to the collector emitter path. The increasing current in the second coil induces a voltage that is in the same direction as the battery voltage in the first coil, and this causes the transistor to turn on completely. The current in the second coil is as high as possible and no longer increases, so the helping voltage in the first coil disappears. This is because only changing currents induce voltages in inductors and the transistor starts to turn off. As the transistor is turning off, a voltage in the opposite direction is induced in the first coil because of the falling current in the second coil. This negative voltage turns the transistor off very quickly. The green plot shows the voltage at the base. As the current stops flowing, the magnetic field collapses and this causes a high voltage spike. And as the transistor is turned off, the current flows through the LED, lighting it briefly, and the cycle starts again from the beginning. The blue graph shows the voltage at the LED terminal. The cycle repeats several thousand times a second, so it appears to Earth creatures that the LED is not flashing. To learn more about science and have fun doing cool experiments. It's great fun and we can do heaps of amazing stuff. Thanks for watching.